In this video, we're going to talk about airfoils and wing sections, specifically how to set different types of airfoils and how to adjust some of the parameters that are available to us. Now, if we go to the airfoil section in the wing component, we can choose different types. We can set some of the parameters and we have a few other things available to us here that we'll talk about. But notice that you have access to all of the different types of cross sections in VSP. So if you wanted to set a rounded rectangle as an airfoil section on your wing, you're welcome to do that. If you want to set an airfoil section in a fuselage or a stack component, you're welcome to do that. We're not going to stop you from implementing those behaviors. And in fact, there are some cases where having an airfoil section in something like a stack or a fuse will be really useful when you have some really interesting geometry features with, you know, surface blending and who knows what else going on. You can do that. Just know what it is that you're doing and do it intelligently and you'll be fine. So let's start off by going to a simple four series airfoil and then we can play with some of the parameters. Now we're only going to be working on this root section for now, but again, you can change these independently for any station along your wing. If we start moving around our thickness to cord, you can see this gets either thicker or narrower depending on our value here and notice that our NACA value is automatically updating this identifier based on what we have set here. So if we want to make a NACA 12, we set thickness to core to 12, and there we go. We can also adjust the camber of this section, and we can adjust the camber location of this section. So if we want to set this to say 0 0.4 and want to make this 4%, We've just made a NACA 4412 because we've set the parameters where we want them to be. Something like that, maybe. And you can set the ideal lift coefficient or the camber, but you can only do one or the other. Now, there's a few other things that we have access to here. Notice that we can choose to either sharpen the trailing edge or you'll notice that a NACA 4 series is either sharp or blunt trailing edge by default. So VSP assumes that you want a sharp trailing edge for you. If you don't, you simply turn that off. Another thing that we can do is to invert the airfoil section. And notice how the entire airfoil just flipped itself upside down. And you might wonder where that would be useful. But if we come to the transform tab, rotate this 180 degrees, and set our root incidence and a few other things accordingly, notice that the airfoil is now the right side up. So if you have independently controlled, say, aileron sections on either side of your wing that you don't want to operate symmetrically, you have to create a separate component for that piece on the other side. If you want to model it physically, if you want to put on a subsurface control, we'll talk about those later, but you can do that as well. But know that if you happen to need to rotate this 180 degrees or to flip it upside down for any reason, all you have to do is invert the airfoil and you're good. Another thing that you can do is you happen to be doing, say, car design and want to make a spoiler instead of a wing, invert the airfoil. And that's going to turn everything upside down and it's going to behave the way that you want. 